In this lesson, we'll go over how to add and edit events and calendars. First, let's move to the week view. There are two ways to add a calendar event. First, I can tap the plus button here in the lower right. This will create a new event that occurs in the next coming hour. The current time in the calendar is displayed by this red mark and line. I can also create an event by just tapping and holding for a second or two on the calendar. The event is placed on the closest 15 minute increment to where I tapped. Use these nodes to adjust the time of the event. I'll schedule this event to go from 5 to 7 p.m. I can also adjust the time in the Add Event box here. Use these dials to adjust the start time and end time of the event. I'll add a title, which will just be Dinner at Home. If I needed, I could add an address. When I view the event later on, I could then tap on the address and it would open in the Maps app. Here I can set the event to repeat at a certain interval. I can add invitees here by entering names or email addresses. I'll include Michelle as an invitee. Next, I can create an alert for myself. I'll add one 30 minutes prior to the event. This will display a pop-up alert on my iPad, iPhone, and Mac, since all these devices will be syncing this event with iCloud. Next, I can set which calendar I want this event in. I have three to choose from right now, Home, Work, or B-Ball. I'll add this to my home calendar. I can set my availability during this time to be either busy or free. And if needed, I can add a web URL or just some notes to the event. Tap Done and the event is saved. I can then tap on this event to view its details and tap the Edit button to change any of its settings. Adding events works in similar ways on the other calendar views. In the day view, I can tap and hold to create an event and then adjust the nodes to set the timing. In month view, I can tap and hold to create an event, but I can't drag it out to schedule it. I need to go into the Add Event menu and tap the start and end times. Currently I have control only over the dates. This is because when an event is added in month view it is automatically created as an all-day event. All-day events remain highlighted in the color of their calendar and in the day and week views will be listed at the top of the day outside of the hourly grid. Switch off all day, and I can set both the start, dates, and times for the event. Events can't be added directly from your view. I would need to tap on a day to display it first.
In list view, I can use the hourly display again to tap and hold to create the event and then adjust the nodes. To remove an event, edit it, and then scroll to the bottom of the edit panel and tap delete. To add or remove calendars, tap the calendars button and then edit. I'm going to add a calendar called test and give it a red label color. If I add an event in that calendar, it will display in red. Since I'm syncing my calendars with iCloud, this calendar and the events within it will also be visible on my other iCloud sync devices. To delete a calendar, tap Edit Calendars, select the calendar, scroll down and tap Delete. The last item in the Calendars menu is called Birthdays. If you have a birthday entered for someone in your Contacts app, those will be displayed in the Birthdays calendar if it's checked. So I'll turn mine on, and now in May, you can see Michelle has a birthday. We'll talk a little more about adding birthdays in the Contacts app later on.